so hot both uh, Dutchie and Jay are going to get in the sprinklers. Yeah. <laughs> Except for I can't get any because she's talking the water. <laughs> there you go, guys. Dutchie, get the water. Go get the water. Get some? It is hot. Yep. It's like almost a hundred. It is ridiculous, but it feels good. But you're still drinking coffee. Yep. <laughs> There's something about hot coffee on a hot day. <laughs> Actually, I'm turn this away from where I'm going to be working. There we go. Get your water. All right. <laughs> so Jay's still drinking his coffee in 100 degree weather. 101 to be exact. <laughs> 101. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out what to do with all these seedlings. Do any of you guys have this problem? Um, I've planted everything and I haven't had a lot of time to plant up my pots around here, but I have all these extra seedlings. I've got tomatoes and zucchini. I got more silver slicers and more golden um, cherry tomatoes and then beefsteak tomatoes. And then all the stuff I bought to put in the That's pots the that I have, yeah, the sweet potato vine that I haven't had a chance to plant out. And uh, you've even got some transplants and herbs I need to get in the garden. And I, um, am growing in, believe it or not, a cake uh, container from the grocery store. Um, inside there is uh, lobelia that I sprouted. Let me see if I can. So trying to get that to grow. And I don't know, it's getting so hot that it's getting harder to grow. What do you think? You think we're like just done for the day here? I think it's kind of pasty out here, but I'm glad I was playing with wretches in the water because I feel cooler now. Yes. You worked a full day today. Yes, I did. And then you got off yep. and... I went and did grid work and uh, that's always fun to try to find people's houses out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> they basically live off grid, but on grid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But a lot of them have dogs, so there's a lot of Chewy boxes. Oh, yeah. Good good old Chewy. Lots of Chewy. Chewy.com. That's right. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what will actually get accomplished this afternoon because um, it's supposed to climb a little hotter before it gets dark. Yeah. And um, I'm not up for hotter. I think I'm almost done. Hotter? Well, once it goes over 100, it's just hot. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. And I think we're there. <laughs> yeah, we're there. Maybe tomorrow morning we can get up early and uh, do some yard work. But I'll take this over snow any day. It's true. I really will. It's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've been trimming off the leaves that have the little miners that go through the leaves that carve into it to try to kill the plant. So I've been trimming those off and now I'm seeing spider webs from like spider mites. So once I get done, then Krista, maybe you can get that spray that we mix up and then spray it. So where we don't yeah. have any spider mites because I don't want to lose any of our plants because of the spider mites or because of the, I the wonder little if it's minor bugs. Best to spray that in the morning. Maybe I can mix Probably. it up in the morning and spray it. Probably, I'm willing to bet that it is but I'm just gonna keep on looking for those minor, the little minor bugs in the leaves. Did we show them that before? I can't remember. I did, but you might wanna show them close up. You should be able to see it. Can you see those? Yeah, I think so. These right here are miners and they're just eating the daylights out of the plant. So if you guys see that on your grapevine, I highly suggest you trim it off and throw them away in the trash can. Don't put them in the your compost pile. I think they or whatever. Yeah, but they The problem they is he may have exited already because right there, is that his exit? I don't know, but I'm not taking any chances. Yeah. So, and we've got one, 
two, three, four, five. We have six grapevines all over the yard. So I'm gonna, that one's done. I'm gonna work on this one. I'll follow you. Show me when you. Yep, I'm just. Oh, there's a spider right there. Which some spiders are good. Yeah, is he a good spider or a bad yeah, spider? He's, yeah, he's trying to actually eat the bugs. Well, here's another minor leaf right there. Let's see, see it? if I can narrow in. I don't know. There we go. Yep, that's it. So anything, Some of them are covered. Last year they were yep, covered. Any, anything like that's getting cut and removed off the plant because I'm not taking any chances. We worked really hard to get these where they're at. And then we've got some other bugs that are, and I don't know what those are. That's just like a grasshopper or something. Well, and see, that's the catch 22. You can spray, but then you're gonna kill the bugs that are- The beneficials? The beneficials, yeah. So you That's why I just... don't wanna, well, and I'm gonna spray, it's an organic spray. Yeah. Um, and it basically kills uh, aphids, spider mites in like the soft body mm -hmm. and I don't want to spray it now because we have so many like of the pollinators out yeah maybe early in the morning we can yeah maybe before the pollinators come out yep the rest of this looks pretty good Yeah, I think the rest of these are okay. I'm gonna leave that spider in his little web on that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the other one. He might be catching us some flies too before they get into my studio. Yeah. Watch out, Richie. Watch out. You gotta go that way. You're not gonna move? Okay, I'll go, I'll work around you. These just look like they're burnt or they got chewed on by something. Maybe a grasshopper. And how about my dead pot right there from the heat what down pot? by your knees? Oh yeah, that's a beautiful plant. That let's, is... let's showcase that. <laughs> that's, that's lovely. That's what happens when I'm away from uh, being able to water and all and that. And work in the yard. <laughs> and yeah. work in the yard. Yeah, it's but... dead, Jim. Oh wait, there is hope. There's a couple sprigs alive. <laughs> And a little, and a little bit of the strawberry is coming back. It's sad. Oh, right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sad, awesome. really. Yeah, and even the grasshoppers are even chewing the crap out of your, uh, your rhubarb. Yeah, they you are. See that? Look at that. Oh yeah. They're chewing the daylights well, out of it. I mean, animals, this is their world that they live in. Yeah, and they're having a feast on us too. <laughs> on our veggies and stuff. You look cute with the basket, by the yeah, way. You like that? That was your idea. The <laughs> basket. I, I like gonna, the basket. I wasn't going to carry the basket. There's some more mine. I like right the there. basket. Yeah, I told you they're all over this. Yep, I'm gonna have to just keep cutting them out. And my strawberries have been hit by the heat too much in this pot and uh, yeah. not good. Oh, but the strawberries earwigs. down here are really doing good. Ooh, earwigs. earwigs. I bet maybe a lot of that is earwigs. I don't think those minor marks are. No, the minors aren't. Some of this is just yeah, they're all over on this. Show me one of those big ones that has it. Well, that that one didn't. Oh, a lit, one that does. one just a little bit. There's a bunch of small ones right there. Can you see them? They're not only there, they're all over right here too. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I'm gonna just keep going until we don't have any more in here. I mean, it cuts off quite a few leaves, but I'd rather do that than lose the whole plant. Well, we needed to trim it anyway. Yeah. It all needs to be trimmed because it's starting to... Oh boy, look at this basket full. 
they need yeah. help. Yeah, that's... They're like 101. I can't do it. <laughs> Strawberries. I can't do it. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and look at this leaf right here. This one has Great. been dinner. This is this is a, a full-on restaurant for bugs. Yeah, it looked like they were going to shut down pretty good. <laughs> for sure. And I think tomorrow morning I'm going to pull, maybe, maybe I'll leave them just a little longer, but the, the snap peas are, it's getting too hot for them. And I was trying to grow some beans below that, but I just don't know if they came up. I'm going to find out and maybe have to replant, but I was hoping something would be up over the trellis before now. Um, back there, right here. Um, is our mini pumpkins and they seem to be climbing to the sky and our golden cherry tomatoes are doing really good um, in fact I picked my first ripe one yesterday let me in fact go in here while he's snapping that um, one of our bell peppers actually it's a different kind of pepper it's called gypsy sweet pepper has a couple peppers, um, but my other little peppers are way behind. Way behind because of our cold. Here's some peppers. Let's hope. And yeah, that was an egg that you saw there. I'm gonna chop it up and <laughs> dig it in there a little bit more. Eggshell. This has gone out of control. And um, our zucchini's doing really good. This right here is our cucumbers, our silver slicers. I think I'm gonna have silver slicers more than any other regular cucumbers. Jess would be proud. Yes, I've never tried one, so it's gonna be fun. And this is my very special tomato that I just keep babying. Like, come on, baby. And I just um, was able to get some broccoli out this morning but my, uh, my snap peas are about had it. They're like, I can't do it anymore. It's too hot, too hot. My fountain needs to get cleaned out tomorrow morning. There's quite a few projects. Broccoli and our sweet peas are doing good, finally. That took them like all the way till now. They were planted like in April or maybe even March. I don't know. It was a crazy year. Now you're on to a different bush. Yep. I'm trying to trim this down a little bit. It's kind of carried away. And the grapevine starts to attack it and grow into it. So, you know. Mm hmm. Got to keep them separated here. Look at that. Its tendrils are hooked. Yeah, you probably can even trim that one out because we have a ton over here. Yeah, I'll just take, take that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we have a ton and we need to like weave it through the fence here. Yeah. And I gotta go right now and go water that poor sad strawberry. <laughs> this is, hmm. It's amazing when we go from really, really hot to really, really I mean, really, really cold to really, really hot so yeah. fast. Yeah, everything just but skyrockets. But the grapevine is starting to go all the way across the trellis, which yeah, is that's nice. Awesome. That's really cool. I like it when it goes across there. Really cool. Ten yolks are. <laughs> <laughs> Having a, you look uh, like you're in the needle. forest there. Do you want to send these two over? Or you want to we can if you if you can if you can get them closest to that. Yeah. Once again, I'm letting you do all the work. All right, keep videoing. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> send that, well, maybe if the tendrils will grab onto it. Go up underneath it. Oh, up under, yeah, up underneath over there, like one below. This one? Yeah. There we go. 
we're gonna have to just let that get a little bit longer and then it'll take off. Oh yeah, it's attached itself big time to the red twig dogwood right here. I'm gonna have to cut some of this back. Oh, I mean, that's really connected. We got some flowers. Can anybody also tell me what, well, besides this getting eaten, but often on our nasturtiums, they'll curl like that, almost like is that pests on it, but it did it last year too. Let me take you over to this other part right here. See how they totally curl? I feel like it's pests. What do you think? Do I need to get rid of those? Maybe aphids. I don't know. Let's hope not. Aphids are wicked. Yeah, I can try spraying them tomorrow. So I'll tomorrow morning I will mix up some of this stuff. Um, this recipe we got. What does it have? I haven't done it since last it has, year. Um, it has neem oil. Uh, soap. Uh, it's the yeah. It has peppermint, peppermint, uh, peppermint oil, neem oil, and a soap, and something else. Uh, rubbing alcohol and uh, hydrogen peroxide. I think you're right. It's like four I or have five the... different things, and you just mix it together, and it takes care of all the, the wicked bugs. I have the recipe, and I'll do it first thing in the morning and spray everything down. Yep. Or at least the, the little bits. Okay, I'm going to let you just... Enjoy trimming. Okay. <laughs> I'm on it. You're at least you're in the shade right here. That is true because that giant elm tree. Yep. Yeah. Because it does feel a little cooler over here than it did over there. It definitely does. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go water this pot of strawberries too. Okay. First things first, watering that sad thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. I water, actually watered it this morning. I think it's just too late in the summer. I'm going to need to plant it out somewhere else. It, yeah, it's too late in the summer to be in a pot. And then here's these ones here. And yes, I'm wearing black in 101 degree weather. Um, I happened to work today, even though it was Saturday, and meet with a bride and uh, I was too lazy to take off my work clothes. So I got work top, work pants, and I just changed my shoes <laughs> to some flip-flops. Um, but here pretty soon I'll just jump in the sh in shower, a cold shower, obviously. So this is all the pile of the leaves we got off the grapevine with the miners dug into the leaves. Some of it is the red twig dogwood that needs to be trimmed a little bit. But the bulk of this is either excess growth or it's the um, leaves with the miners. Yeah. So at least we've got it, the majority of it cleaned up. And we don't put that in the compost. It looks pretty bare. No, <laughs> we're going to throw this away. Throw it away. Yep. So, yeah, it looks really bare. We cut off more than I thought, but it will grow back and oh, yeah. it, it will have it grows, new leaves. It grows fast. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna go get so, the trash. Looks a little sparse, but it, it'll fill in real fast. By next week, it'll be all full again. Yep. So it's something we were trying, right? Yep. We uh, used, last year we, we used to just let it just be on the leaves, and we were trying to figure out what it was. And then last watched, year we sprayed it. We watched a video or something where we heard about the miners that get into the leaves on the grapevine and then we were like ah we need to pull those off of there so that's what we do now is we just yank them and throw them away and get them away from all of our other plants and not put it in compost so it should be it's much kind of better an now. experiment yep <laughs> we'll see if this year it is this year it's an experiment we'll see so, if this works better because yeah. last year we did try to spray it with i can't remember what we sprayed it with last year i don't remember but it didn't work it didn't help at all no but pulling the leaves off i mean we're removing the miners from the plant and throwing them away so 
we'll see if we can just do process of elimination and uh, just keep the miners off the plant and hopefully all six of our grapevines will do much better and thrive. Yeah. But we will keep you guys posted. Okay. I'm going to go inside here in a minute. It's really, really hot. Yeah, I told you that. <laughs> so I found a bunch more leaves and we're trying to get rid of them. This is what our entire grapevine looked like last year and it just was horrible. And so that's why we're trying to eliminate it um, this year and or keep it at bay um, organically, just basically like picking the ones we see, trying to keep them from hatching or whatever, or laying new ones. So that is what is a leaf miner. And so goodbye. Look at this. Now, this is a new one for me. The miners are even on our Virginia creeper. That's scary. <laughs> I didn't even know they attacked Virginia creeper, but I think they do it's, a lot it's of it's different all things. over the leaves. Look at that. Yeah. So now we're not only going to have to police those, the grapevines, but we're going to have to police the Virginia creeper everywhere. Does it get on anything <coughs> else but vining plants? I don't know, but this is not a good thing. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. So much for having luscious plants. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning, and uh, yesterday we were out um, looking at the grapevines and some of the other things. We saw something that kind of looked like maybe it might be spider mite. Um, you know, we had some other things like uh, the leaf miner, um, but there is possibly maybe the start of some aphids and uh, spider mites. So I'm gonna mix up a potion. <laughs> that I learned on the internet. And I'm gonna try uh, to find that old video and post it down in the description, or maybe I'll link it up here, um, because he deserves the credit for this recipe. I got it last year, and he mainly does house plants with it. Um, so, uh, but he, you could do it outside and everything. It's just, uh, it takes care of the soft bodied uh, insects like aphids and spider mites and maybe some other ones. You still want to be careful when you are spraying it that you're not spraying it at the time when all of your beneficials are out there and your um, your pollinators. Uh, you don't want to spray it directly on them. I don't know but it still could hurt harm them. Um, so you want to get it just directly on uh, the aphids or the infected area and uh, but it is it is organic uh, so it's not a pesticide um, so I'm gonna mix that up and show you the recipe that I was using last year okay I just simply got this recipe on the internet and like I said I will try to link it and uh, put it in the description um, but I've just got it written on this uh, messy little 3 by 5 card and uh, a post-it I, they're the same recipe. I just, I think I wrote it for my mother-in-law as well. Um, you get one of these little spray guns that you can pump up and then spray. Um, mine is a little bit smaller than he asked. He asked for two quarts of water and that's about 64 ounces. Mine total holds 50 ounces. So you know that by the time you've added the cup of everything, you're a little gonna be a little stronger. If you can get more towards that two quarts, it's probably gonna be better. Um, but it worked last year, and sometimes I just went a little lighter on my measurements. So it's gonna be two quarts of water. Um, you're going to do um, one fourth cup of tea tree oil. So this is tea tree oil. And I just got Dr. Wood's natural um, tea tree. I just got it online per his um, recommendation. And just pour that in there to one pour. It's pretty thick. <laughs> 
and it is just an insecticidal soap, I believe, or just actually an organic, oh, Castile soap. It's a Castile soap. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll also put the um, recipe in the directions or in the description, I mean. Okay, and then it's gonna be a fourth of a cup of the peppermint castile soap. Dr. Woods is what I ended up getting because I just got them both at the same time online. Go one fourth cup. Now this smells so good. This does smell so good. Um, when you're spraying this, it just kind of smells fresh. And just so you know, um, he actually in his recipe had distilled water because he was doing indoor plants and he didn't want the spots from the water on his, um, on his plants. So distilled water, especially if you're doing indoor, I'm not doing indoor right now, I'm doing all of my outdoor plants and I'm okay with it. Okay, and then peroxide. Um, he had a particular, can't remember what percentage you have to have, but I could only find your basic. I mean, it was, when I bought this last year, everything was still out from COVID. And it's just um, two tablespoons. That's gonna get all fizzy in there. Each of these has a different property to help um, kill the, um, the soft-bodied uh, insects. And then this is a full cup of rubbing alcohol. Sometimes, uh, thank God for the, for the peppermint, otherwise your whole thing would smell like alcohol. This is what I found to be what I ran out of the most last year. And it was really hard to find uh, them on the uh, store shelves. So hopefully you can find rubbing alcohol because everybody was using it for, um, to disinfect. Okay, and that's all there is to it. I'm pretty full right there. I'm going to put on my cap and then just shake it up, stir it up, get all of those mixed in, whoops, and then I'll show you here in a second, we're just going to pump that and that will spray. Okay, a couple tricks is number one, like I said, do not spray this when all your um, beneficials or your um, uh, your pollinators are out. You don't wanna spray that directly on them. Um, number two, don't spray it probably when the sun's out on your plants because I'm assuming that this would burn really bad uh, with sun. So you wanna do this early, early in the morning. Um, the other thing you wanna do is if you haven't done this on a plant before, spot check it. Um, maybe do like some of the under leaves first and just see if your plant is okay with it. Um, last year, I put them on all my plants. Um, I put them on all my plants and most of them just were fine with it. But there was one plant and I can't remember, I've been trying to remember which one, but I burned all the leaves and it kind of died. So um, I did it all over my petunias that usually get uh, aphids um, and it, the petunias loved it. And I have put it on these um, and stuff like that. And aphids and stuff love to go underneath the leaves. So you just spray that and even on top.
Now, if I wasn't, didn't do this last year, I probably would just do a little spot and just try it. I did it inside on all my, um, all my indoor plants last year and it was great. Uh, the only other thing there, I'm trying to remember, if I can remember, I'll put it in the description or I'll put it on the screen which plant it was, but I cannot remember which one did not like it last year. Um, I don't think I have that plant this year. You just go all up and underneath. And the thing is, it can get all over your hands. It is, I mean, you can wear gloves if you want. I, it just smells like peppermint oil and alcohol. Uh, you'll have clean hands when you're done. <laughs> so, um, but my husband did tr uh, end up spraying. He had um, some little seedlings that were, um, gosh, they were like a mesquite tree or something like that from his mom's house and it did burn those leaves. So watch your seedlings, you know, they're young. But I actually think I just saw some little webs from spider mites and it almost dissolves the webs. Here's a web of a regular spider here. And just do that. So uh, I'm going to do the rest of my plants. Maybe I'll go and do my petunias too. My petunias, I know, love this. I think sometimes the, um, I know the hydrogen peroxide actually adds, um, adds oxygen. There are some videos you can find on hydrogen peroxide and adding oxygen to your plants. So that's in there. The alcohol is probably what ended up burning some of the plants. And like I said, I have to do this way before, luckily we have some cloud cover. Really grateful for the cloud cover right now. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my yard or here and there, wherever I see some trouble. And I forgot to say in the other video, you can also do the soil. Um, this little seedling that I was gonna plant in a pot when I went to go water it yesterday all along the soil line, um, it had like small spider webs, almost like a spider mite. And so I went through and actually soaked the soil around that. So go ahead and soak your soil underneath your leaves, on top of leaves if you have to, but remember, uh, don't then put them directly in the sun <laughs> um, so that they won't bake with that uh, alcohol. Okay, and a little sneak peek going on over here is uh, Jay's been working on uh, the little waterfall pond river thing and he's been videoing that um, little bit by bit and trying to put together kind of a tutorials of somewhat um, but he's trying out a lot of things for the first time so it's kind of a work in progress um, but just thought I'd kind of show you what's going on over there today some numbers. You want some peanuts? They're not over there. They're over there on the other side. Do 
want a peanut. Go get one. Go get a peanut. 